Okay, today, friends, we are going to look at some block towers that Miss Hamilton made. And then I also have some other objects that I brought from our classroom. I have a Play-Doh stamper with the letter Z on it. I have a magnet from our letter building. And I have a cube from the Toys and Games. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at these things and we're going to put them in order. We're going to start with the shortest object and we're going to go all the way up to the tallest object. So let me get a marker. Here it is. And I'm going to make three lines. One, two, three. I'm going to write the numbers. One, two, three. So first, second, third. And I'm going to show you three towers that Miss Hamilton has. I have a blue tower. I have a red tower. And I have a yellow tower. And I want to figure out which tower is going to go first, which tower is going to go second, and which tower is going to go third. In the first spot, I want to put the shortest tower. So, how would I know which one is the shortest? Which one is the smallest? Well, I can look with my eyes. I could also count the cubes and see how tall they are. So, let's count the red one. Let's see how many cubes tall the red one is. Are you ready? One, two, three, Four. Oh, so there's four cubes on my red tower. Let's see how many cubes are in my blue tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven cubes in my blue tower. Let's count and see how many cubes are in my yellow tower. One, two, Three cubes are in my yellow tower. So which tower do you think is the shortest? Which tower should go first? Do you think the blue tower is the shortest? How about the red tower or the yellow tower? Yes, the yellow tower is the shortest. It goes first. Now I have my blue tower and my red tower. So we're not looking at the yellow one anymore. We're just looking at the blue and the red one. When I look at the blue and the red towers, which one is shorter? Yeah, the red one. So it's going to go second. And all I have left is the blue one and it goes third. So I've got, I've got short, medium, tall. We put them in order from short, from the shortest to the tallest. Good job. Let's do, let's do another one. We're going to keep the yellow one. We're going to get a pink one this time. And I have a different blue tower. Let's count how many cubes are in the yellow tower. One, two, three. Let's count how many are in the blue tower. One, two, three. And let's count how many are in the pink tower. One, two, three, four. Which tower is the shortest? The blue one. Good job. Now look at the pink and the yellow. Is the yellow shorter or is the pink one shorter? Yellow and then pink is third. Short, medium, tall. Shortest, tallest. The blue is the shortest. The pink is the tallest. We put them in order from shortest to tallest. One more time, friends. This time we're going to use the things that I brought from the classroom. So we have our magnet, we have our stamper, and we have our cube. When you look at these, which one is the shortest? Hmm. 
can't really stand them up for you to see. It's hard for you to see that way. But which one do you think is the shortest when you look at those? Do you think that the stamper is shorter than the cube? Do you think that the stamper is shorter than the magnet? Which one is the shortest? If you said the cube, I think that you would be right. Now, look at the magnet and the stamper. Which one is the shortest? Yeah, the stamper, good job. So that means that the magnet is the tallest. We did it again, friends. We put them in order from short, medium, tall, shortest to tallest. First, second, third. You guys did great. I want you to look around your house and see if you can find three things. Uh, it can be anything that you find. And then I want you to put them in order from the shortest to the tallest. Take a picture of what you find and send it to Miss Hamilton.